5.30 a.m. Wednesday morning, and there's a lot of activity going on in our yard. We are gonna be taking a 28 by 66 office complex and loading it onto a barge. The guys are uh, getting prepared this morning. They're getting the units loaded up onto the low beds and getting prepped to head down the road. Uh, the project isn't far from here, so it'll be a short drive, um, but an interesting one at that. Typically, when we put these on barge, they're gonna be going to a destination somewhere in the uh, coast. This one is gonna be staying on the barge as an office complex for the uh, client's office staff. Uh, so it's something we're really excited about. And uh, within a couple hours, we're gonna be taking these units down the road to a loading facility. What are we doing today? What is the plan of attack? Are we gonna get all the foundation blocking on first or what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna do a portion of the foundation block on first today. Okay, so we're gonna get the probably the outside edge done outside and then outside edge and then because it'll be a tight space and I wanna climb you can okay. block it all. So we're gonna get Scotty. Scotty's gonna go on first, the window side facing north, I guess. Okay, fantastic. So I guess once the barge gets in here secured, we've done our site orientation, then we're gonna get the uh, safety rails put up on two sides. And it looks like we got a full crew here. We probably got, what, eight? Eight guys, nine guys today. Yeah, it's a big group to get her done. So, and I think it's a small. I think we got this small little window, don't we?
So far, so good. I see the guys are nailing all the blocks together. How's it going, Matt? Good, 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 good. So what are we gonna do with this pile? We're gonna get these set and nailed and you're just gonna slide them out of the way? I think we're gonna leave the least backup win for the trailers to come back that far. Fantastic. Then those ones we're gonna leave, slid out, push them in after. That's awesome, great. It actually looks like there's gonna be enough room for Scotty to get in here too, doesn't it? This is great. The last couple out, we just use the forklift to hold the one side and get them drive out. Okay, good, good. The uh, client is actually going to weld metal brackets to this steel deck and within the building we've got brackets installed in the building that are going to be tied together with ground anchor cables. So that'll fasten it to the barge and secure it. So out in uh, the rough weather the unit will stay secured to the barge. Well, they blew an airbag. What they're going to do now is they're going to climb underneath there with a pair of pliers and pinch off that line that goes to the airbag, and then they've got uh, five other ones that they can use. It's going to take a little extra time to get it up and down now, but we can still make it work with five bags. In a situation like this, uh, there's still enough air in the system uh, that we'll be able to uh, lift the unit back up. It's a real temporary fix, but um, it'll get us out of this situation we're in. Now let's quickly block it up at uh, 36 inches high, air down, and then Scotty can pull ahead. What we're doing now is we're actually going to uh, shrink the trailer up. It's an expandable trombone trailer. So right now it's extended out an extra 10 feet so that it can support that building while we're hauling it. You see the reason for leaving those blocks back there is now as he turns out, he gives him extra room up here, here for his trailer. He's gonna take two pokes at it. Little bit, little bit. There we go. Should have a pretty straight shot in. First of all, they've insulated all of the module junction lines. Now that all the module junction lines are insulated, they're gonna be finishing up the junction lines again with um, some one by four and one by six battens and also some T-bar. As you can see up here, we've got some loose wires that are up here. This is actually the electrician's gonna do the connections from unit to unit. Once those are all done, then uh, that's going to uh, complete all the wiring for the interconnects from unit to unit. 
And then there's going to be a bunch of other uh, fire alarm connections that have to be done in a few other locations. And uh, yeah, that's that. There's a little bit of venting, which you can see that's already been completed up there. So now that completes the venting duct from unit to unit. This one at one time had a big uh, sprinkler system in here. So we're actually not using the sprinkler system anymore, but if it is ever needed, all the piping is here. Well, this project is coming to a close. We've been here since uh, 7 a.m. this morning. We actually had a 5 a.m. start and uh, it's light snow. It was a cold kind of a day today. But uh, things went really well. Uh, the guys have got the building on the barge. It's blocked, it's leveled, it's trimmed out, and uh, it's gonna head out to its brand new home. This building's actually gonna be staying on the barge uh, where the new client is gonna be using it as a office complex for his staff. It's gonna be nice for them. I mean, can you imagine sitting in an office of your riverfront property? We're very pleased about the project. It went really well and um, looking forward to closing this off. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. And we'll see you next time.